Okay, let me introduce you to my 1953 Craftsman Real Mower. It's got a Briggs & Stratton 5S engine on it. Uh, first start for 2009. It was a pain in the butt to get over here because it uses these belts to drive the wheels, right? And uh, when it's not running, they drag and uh, it had been in covered storage for the winter, but they got real draggy. So this thing was a bear to move. But we got her over here now. This machine loves to torture me. Still don't have a gas cap for it yet, uh, but everything else works nice and free. Uh, oil bath cleaner. I set my wrench and rope aside so I wouldn't lose them in a nice safe place, and I forgot where that was, so I made myself a new one using another wrench and nylon rope. Oil bath cleaner. It's got a choke. No way in hell is this thing going to start. Uh, I've got a gas can with gas in it. Probably going to end up taking this off, squirting some gas down it so we can get something out of this thing, hopefully, because they, they do tend to grip. I tend to do this. <sighs> yeah. I'm not going to mess around with that. Let's get some gas down that carb. Easy way to take the air cleaner off is there's just one screw here. All cast iron, which is nice, I guess. Makes it heavy, though. And I have this horrible stubby screwdriver for some reason. There we go. That comes off, revealing, of course, oil and my carburetor opening, which I can throw some gas down. A little gasoline. That'll help. That'll help a lot. Changed out or cleaned out as much as I could have. It does run really nice. It will generally, on a nice warm day, start on about three or four poles. Last fall I gave it a shot. It took forever. So sometimes she's happy, sometimes she isn't. And it also needs a head gasket. I forgot to mention that. It's not running just right. Uh, exhaust comes from everywhere around the head. I did a little bit of lawn, she'd just stay there all day if you leave her. 